Hey, y'all and collectors, it's Riley. Uh, so, maybe a week ago, we saw the uh, big catalog for the upcoming Marvel books come out, and I went over that and talked about the, the notable new books that are, hey, Chewie, the notable new books that were uh, in that catalog. So now, as of uh, just a couple minutes ago, I became aware of the DC catalog. So there's a lot of stuff that we already know about in here, which is the same as with the Marvel one, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and run through a lot of the notable releases in here because there are some pretty interesting new books that are going to be coming out from DC uh, in the next several months. So just at first glance here, uh, we have the Batman by Ed Brubaker Volume 1 paperback. Uh, that's going to fit really nicely in with a lot of those other paperbacks that DC has been recently releasing, like the, the new editions of No Man's Land. We have the Road to No Man's Land, the new edition of Cataclysm, uh, Contagion, Legacy, and stuff like that. So that's really nice. The third and I believe final volume for the Jiro Kawada Bat Manga is going to be coming out. There's a second uh, paperback volume for Ostrander's Suicide Squad, uh, which is nice because the first volume uh, actually came out a long time ago, and they're just reprinting it now. Um, because the after that first volume, they never printed a second volume, so it was really annoying for people who wanted to read the entire thing uh, that they just kind of canceled that line. But now with the Suicide Squad having their own movie coming up and they're more prominent, it's uh, very obviously that's the reason why they're going to be trying to reprint these volumes. I would have overly, uh, I would have preferred to see an omnibus or two release to collect the whole run uh, more quickly, but you know a Trade paperback run, if that's the most that we can get, I'm fine with that as well. Uh, there's Superman Secret Identity Deluxe Edition, which is a really cool uh, story from Kurt Busiek and Stuart Eminen. Uh, if you've never read that one, the Deluxe Edition is going to be a really nice looking volume for you to, to experience that for the first time. There's Volume 5 for Mike Grell's Green Arrow. There's Supergirl by Jeff Loeb, Volume 1. That's a new one. Uh, Justice League of America Silver Age, Volume 1. That's a paperback version. And then there's the Azrael paperback volume, um, Collecting the Old Stuff by Denny O'Neill. That's a volume one. Let's see, the Harley and Ivy stuff collects the three-issue miniseries from Paul Denny and uh, Bruce Tim. Absolute Why the Last Man volume two. Let's see what that contains. Uh, that's going to have issues 21 through 40, so it looks like there should be three total volumes for that one. Batman by Neil Adams Omnibus. We've known about that one coming out for a while now. Birds of Prey by Chuck Dixon, Volume 2. Uh, here we go. Batman Legacy slash Contagion. This one we didn't have a issue listing. Uh, so now we know here it's got lead into Batman Cataclysm, which went into No Man's Land, collects Shadow of the Bat, numbers 53 and 54, Batman uh, 533 through 534, Detective Comics, 700 to 702, Catwoman 36, and Robin 32 through 33. So this one, it says Legacy and Contagion, but I don't think that it actually collects both of those events. Um, it looks like it's I, offhand, just looking at it now, I don't know which one that is, but it looks like it's either Legacy or Contagion. So either that's not a complete listing, or I don't know, we'll see from that later, but that's a lot shorter than what I was... Uh, expecting that to be so we'll, we'll see what happens there supergirl by peter david and gary frank volume one paperback collects issues one through eight world's finest the golden age omnibus volume one so another golden age omnibus of material uh world's funnest various uh issues in a paperback uh here's the flash by by francis manipool and brian buccioletto deluxe edition this one was put onto amazon recently and uh we didn't know exactly what it contained but now it says that it's collecting volume uh sorry issues number one through 25 hopefully it also collects i think just the first annual and at least the zero issue as well as the reverse flash villains issue because those three issues directly tie into the story that uh, Manipul and Buccioletto were, were doing in this book. So hopefully we see those three in there as well. And knowing DC's solicitations, a lot of times stuff changes up um, from what they originally solicit to what gets published. Uh, and, you know, the proof for that would be 
the, for instance, the Green Lantern Omnibus Volume 2 that just came out, they left out the last issue of Blackest Night, and they didn't even uh, mention that they collected the uh, Tales of the Core miniseries. So I'm sure that that's going to have those other issues in there as well. Uh, Robin by Chuck Dixon, that's going to be collecting the Tim Drake stuff. That's Volume 2. Superman Golden Age, uh, Volume 1 paperback. Dr. Fate from the new uh, Paul Levitt series, Volume 1. And then there's the Green Lantern by Jeff Johns Omnibus, Volume 3. Immortal Dr. Fate, this collects some older Dr. Fate material, uh, including uh, Special Number 9, Stories from Flash 306 to 313, Immortal Dr. Fate 1 through 3, Dr. Fate 1 through 4, and DC Challenge Number 11. Uh, Superman Justice League paperback by Dan Jurgens, uh, Wonder Woman War of the Gods paperback that has some of the George Perez stuff. Uh, collects War of the Gods numbers one through four, as well as Wonder Woman fifty eight through sixty one. I think that's some material that followed after what we're going to see in that first omnibus. Uh, Batman Europa, that is uh, the Europa miniseries that was published. A while back either it was published a while I think that was actually canceled um, before it actually hit the shelves so we'll see on Injustice year one complete edition uh, unfortunately that's not a hardcover but it looks like the entire first year of Injustice is gonna be in one uh, paperback edition Omega Men volume one this is from the classic stuff by Marv Wolfman uh, this is Green Lantern numbers 141 through 144 and 161 Action Comics 535 and 536 New Teen Titans 24 and 25 Teen Titans annual number one and Omega Men one through four so that's pretty interesting stuff right there Scale Simone's uh, Secret Six volume four this is the new uh, paperback editions, and this says it has 22 through 28, which seems really thin for one of these, so I'm going to assume that that might not be correct, and that it should have also 29 through 36, I believe is where it ended. Uh, otherwise, that'd be kind of uncharacteristically thin for one of these new editions. Uh, Transmetropolitan Absolute Volume 2 has 19 through 36. Batman War Games Volume 2 has Detective Comics 798, Legends of the Dark Knight 183, Nightwing 97, Batman Gotham Knights 57, Robin 130, Batgirl 56, Catwoman 35 through 36, and Batman 633. So that's going to go good with all those new paperback editions. There's a Black Lightning Volume 1. Uh, collecting the old tales from the 70s. Wonder Woman Earth 1, the Grant Morrison, Yannick Paquette uh, book. I'm really looking forward to that one. Batman Arkham Scarecrow, an anthology collection with a bunch of uh, older Scarecrow stories. Flash by Morrison and Mark Millar. That's going to be a deluxe hardcover collecting their run, which was 130 through 138. Really fun run. They introduced like the uh, the Black Flash or whatever. Blue Blackest Night Unwrapped. It's one of those uh, books that has the pencil artwork only. DC Comics Elseworlds Volume 1. A bunch of... Uh, doesn't have the info exactly what's in there, but it's a bunch of stuff from the Elseworlds stories collected in one paperback. So that should be a pretty fun. Nightwing Volume 4 by Chuck Dixon, so some of the classic stuff. Wonder Woman by Mike Deodato. That has some of the stuff written by William uh, Meisner Loeb's uh, issues 0, 85, and 90 through 93. I was hoping they'd do a, an omnibus of the that series uh, following up after the George Perez, but we'll see what happens later on. Batman Noir Black Mirror, so that's going to have that original story by Snyder, Jock, and Frank Avia uh, that... Snyder did before he took over on Batman, uh, and it's going to be in just the the black and white with the inks, so no color on that one. Uh, the Demon Volume 2, this is collecting some of the Garth Ennis material, has the Demon 49 through 58. Uh, Road to No Man's Land Volume 2 paperback has Batman 560 through 562, Detective Comics 727 through 730, Batman Shadow of the Bat 80 through 82, Batman Chronicles 15 and 16, and then Azrael Agent of the Bat 47 through 49. So that one's uh, a nice bridge between Cataclysm and the uh, No Man's Land. And here's one that's going to be one of the more exciting releases uh, in this catalog is the Gotham Central Omnibus. 
<clears throat> so that's really awesome. It collects the entire 40-issue series by Ed Brubaker and Greg Rucka, which has been collected across several paperbacks and hardcovers in the past, but those hardcovers have been extremely hard to get, and I'm very happy uh, because I was expecting if Gotham, the TV series, did well that we would wind up seeing this recollected somewhere, and I'm glad that it's being collected all in one place as an omnibus, so that's very awesome stuff. Newsboy Legion by Simon and Kirby, Volume 2. Uh, this is a hardcover, collects Star Spangled Comics, uh, material from that, issues 23 through 37. Batman Adventures, Volume 4, that's the, uh, the series that came out around the same time as the uh, cartoon that was based on the cartoon series, so pretty cool stuff there. Catwoman, Volume 5, from Will Pfeiffer, that has issues 50 through 61 of that run, that's following off the footsteps of... Uh, of Ed Brubaker's run. Uh, Deathstroke Terminator Volume 3 from Marv Wolfman has 14 through 20 of his series. Flash Silver Age Paperback Volume 1, so it looks like they're recollecting the stuff that was in the omnibus into paperback. Uh, Graphic Inc. DC Comics Art of Jim Lee. Kingdom Come 20th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. That's going to be cool for those of us who weren't able to grab the... Uh, For those of us that weren't able to grab the Absolute Edition, I'll have an oversized hardcover edition of that one for uh, for a much lower price. It's just going to be forty dollars instead of uh, you know a hundred dollars for that book or whatever it was. Lucifer Volume One. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be. I don't know if they're starting up a new Lucifer series, but it says by Holly Black, so we'll see what that is. The Flash by Jeff Johns Volume Two. This is a new paperback collection of his material with uh, Wally West. So this has issues 177 through 200. Green Arrow by Kevin Smith paperback. So a new paperback edition of all the material, uh, Quiver and Sound of Violence. Uh, those were collected into that. Uh, Absolute Edition, which came out kind of uh, recently. Side Squad Volume 3, so we already have Volume 2 and 3 in here, uh, and this collects issues uh, 16 through 22 of the Ostrander run, so good to see that moving forward at a good pace. Here's another really awesome one right here, is Aquaman by Jeff Johns Deluxe Edition, uh, collecting issues 0 through 16, as well as Justice League issues 14 and 16. Uh, I believe that Jeff Johns wrote the series until issue, hi Chewy, uh, issue 25 or so. So hopefully that is volume one of two, or it's actually going to be longer than they're billing it as. Because uh, like I said, sometimes they leave material off. DC's not great at getting the right material on their solicits, but oversized hardcover for Aquaman by De Jeff Johns. Definitely excited about uh, Superman Adventures Volume 2. That one, like the Batman Adventures one, is based on the original uh, animated series. Uh, 100 Bullets Book 4, trade paperback edition of those oversized hardcovers we had. Egypt by Peter Milligan collects issues 1 through 7 of that series. I've never read nor heard of that. I'm not sure if it, it looks like it's an older Vertigo title, so that's pretty interesting. Flinch Book 2, I'm not sure what that one is either. It's the classic Vertigo horror anthology. That's right, I remember looking up the first one. So the old anthology series uh, being collected. Invisibles Book 1 paperback, so reprinting the oversized hardcovers in the paperbacks. Here's a another Grant Morrison hardcover deluxe edition. It collects both Kill Your Boyfriend and uh, Vimanorama. So that's a couple of the uh, the shorter series that he did being collected into one oversized hardcover. So that's, being, that's pretty awesome. Both of those are really good stories. I personally do recommend them. Manifest Eternity from Scott Lobdell. DMZ Book 1 paperback. So they're already planning the paperbacks and they're like, there's still, Volume 5 still hasn't even been published. Uh, Sweet Tooth Deluxe Edition Volume 2, and that one has 14 through 27, so we should see that series wrapped up with a third volume. Scalped Deluxe Edition Volume 4 has 35 through 46, so that one should wrap up with Volume 5. Art Ops Volume 1, Astro City Volume 12, Fables Deluxe Edition Book 12, and that one uh, da, 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 doesn't say what issues are contained in there, but I feel like it's not going to be the last volume. I'll say that much here. And then John Constantine Hellblazer Volume 13, which has 
uh, Garth Ennis's Son of Man when he returned for about four issues, and it also has the rest, it looks like, uh, of Paul Jenkins' run going through issue 141. So we've, at this point with volume 13, we've almost reached the halfway point of uh, these paperback editions of Constantine, so that's cool. Uh, 14 should be the halfway point, so if they continue and collect everything like this in these new, nice, thick paperback editions, then we should have a total of about 28 volumes, uh, roughly. And finally, 100 Bullets, Book 5. So there's a lot of really cool stuff being published, obviously, from, uh, from DC and Vertigo in the next, uh, several months. This looks like it's it's about, you know, three or four months worth of material. Uh, out of all of that, I, I ran through everything. I know this it made this video a little bit longer than my Marvel one, which is about half this this length. Um, but the ones obviously that I'm really looking forward to, uh, that Gotham Central Omnibus is a really great book. I, I'm really excited for that one to come out. Um, a lot of the Vertigo Deluxe editions like Scalped, the that new Grant Morrison one, uh, Sweet Tooth, there's a lot of good stuff coming out there. Uh, and then the deluxe edition for the New 52 Flash run, and also for Jeff John's Aquaman. Those are all really good stuff that I'm really looking forward to. And some other, a lot of, I really like that they're doing a lot of old paperbacks for 80s series um, and series from earlier than the 70s and 80s comics. Um, you know, the Deathstroke stuff, they're continuing Mike Grell's Green uh, Arrow, the Suicide Squad, Side Squad <clears throat> excuse me, Suicide Squad by John Ostrander. A lot of really good stuff, basically, from there. And also, I had something on the tip of my tongue. Um, you know, there's just, there's generally a lot of really positive stuff that's coming out. A lot of really good stuff coming out from uh, DC and Vertigo in the next several months. And, you know, going through this catalog, I'll put a link down below so you can check everything out. Oh, yeah, all the Batman stuff. Obviously, you know, the Road to No Man's Land, the Legacy Contagion volume, all that stuff. That's really cool because they're giving us... Uh, and the Brubaker volume. They're giving us this solid run through, like, all of the Batman stuff from looking at my shelf right now from nightfall through like the current stuff and that's really cool uh for them to go and collect all that stuff and i hope they start going backwards a bit as well and collect stuff from before nightfall but either way dc's doing a really great job of collecting a ton of batman material and make it really easy for readers to have this solid collection um on their shelves so kudos to dc on that stuff some really cool material not a ton of omnibus editions um, in there, but there's a lot of really nice paperbacks and a lot of nice oversized hardcovers, and that Gotham Central is one big one um, that I'm really looking forward to. So anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video, just basically me running through everything that's coming out um, in you know the next season, basically from from DC and Vertigo. I'll have, like I said, the link down below so you can check out the catalog for yourself. Go through and see what books are coming out and the issues, and make up for your uh, your own mind on what books you're looking forward on grabbing. Just you know, mention down below which books I mentioned here that you yourself are looking forward to picking up. Uh, what books you're excited about seeing released? Stuff that maybe never was released before that's finally getting a release. Um, you know. Generally, just talk to me down below. I like I like having conversations and stuff on my videos. Uh, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Uh, check out my website and my Facebook page. I'll have links to those down below. Anyway, I, I just kind of wanted to make this a kind of quick video, even though it's kind of long, running over 20 minutes. But thank you so much for watching this. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.